Hi, I'm Eric Price, the CEO of GG Interactive. And I'm Jeff Beckstrom, the program manager at GG Interactive. And together, we're co-producing our game development program. This is our second in what will be a continuing series of videos uh, about our game development program. And we'd like to start today's video with some industry news. Uh, right now, actually today is the last day of what is referred to as E3, which stands for Electronic Entertainment Expo, which is one of the largest annual trade fairs for the video game industry and occurs uh, every year this time in the Los Angeles Convention Center. Now, Eric, uh, as you've been working with Garage Games and Torque for a lot of years, you've attended E3. What, what can you tell us about it? Uh, well, it's the biggest conference of the year, and it's really it's an opportunity for publishers to kind of outdo each other with how grand and big and exciting their games are. So it's really about getting the press engaged. It's about getting the bloggers blogging about a trailer. And for industry people, it's about... Um, oftentimes going there trying to win a contract right. for a game so there's a lot of publishers there I once rented an RV and we sat outside and we brought publishers off the floor showed them showed them our games that we were making but it's a really fun conference yeah. and it's at 48,000 last year wow. that's how and, many people they had and it's actually not open to the public you have to apply for your credentials and prove that you're part of the uh, professional video game industry to get in they got really restrictive one year uh, and did that in 07 and the numbers dropped from like a 40,000 yeah. person type event to a 10,000 person event and now it's growing back again so it'll be interesting to see if this year's E3 is bigger than last year's yeah so when you hear about that, or you may Google E3, that's uh, now you know more about it. So let's get into a teacher submitted question. This week, I have a question from Mr. Williams from a high school in Tennessee. And he writes in, guys, I've accessed your program and I noticed that you're teaching C Sharp. Why did you choose C Sharp? Well, first, I wanna thank you, Mr. Williams, for jumping in and being one of our early access teachers and developers on this program, and commend you for noticing that it is C-sharp. And I can tell you, there was a lot of conversation internally with the team for us to decide what program language we wanted to use in this program. And Eric, why don't you go over the reasons why we did choose C-sharp? Okay, well, so we get this question a lot, and there's, there's really three main reasons why we chose C-sharp. So the first reason is it's really the best language to learn if you want to get into the industry. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of uh, entry-level positions. And that's the, the game industry. Oh, of course, the game industry, the, of course. Uh, into the game industry. So, so there are entry-level positions in the game industry, but one of the best ways to get in is to be a tools developer. And these tools developers are programmers that support all of the artists and all of the designers. And the primary language they use is C Sharp. So the, the first reason is, is because it's, it's a very yep. important language for the industry and a great way to get into the industry. So the second reason why we chose C Sharp is because um, outside of the game industry, if you're using C Sharp, that's also the best language for you to be able to get into other industries. So it's a very popular language um, for the people that don't choose to go down game development curriculum. And to just show a quick example of that, I am using Indeed here and I'm doing a search. I'm going to show you the popularity if I type C Sharp and find jobs you'll see that it brings up 34,000 jobs available yeah. for C-sharp. And if I compare that to you know, very popular languages, let's say like PHP, we're getting 21,000. And another popular language might be Python, which when I search that, I get 29,000. Yeah. So C-sharp is a very popular language, not just for game development, but also for uh, industries outside of game development. And then the final reason why we chose C-sharp is because it's kind of a middle tier language uh, it's it's a good platform to learn lower level languages like C++ okay. or higher level languages like JavaScript. All right, so I'm going to have to stop you there. When you say lower level and higher level, are you saying that some programming languages are better or easier or more difficult or is there a more technical yeah, it's meaning technical. behind that? No, okay. it's technical. So, so with, with C++, which is the industry people would call that a lower level language, you have to do more management of resources of the hardware. So for example, mm -hmm. memory uh, pointers is a topic right. that's really a stumbling block for a lot of people learning programming with C++. So you have more access to hardware, which makes it a little bit of a faster, more optimized language, right. but you have more stumbling points and learning curves for beginner programmers. And then a higher level language uh, like JavaScript is more like a scripting language where it handles a lot of um, those management issues for you. 
and it handles things like crashing more elegantly and gives you some more flexibility, but then it's not very fast. So that's kind of the downside. C sharp is really good because it hits that middle point of all of those. So for us completely non-technical people, if we wanted to visualize the idea of lower level or higher level, it's almost lower level means you're getting closer to the hardware using and accessing it. Higher level means you're getting closer to what maybe the end user or the programs that are there. there. So, okay, excellent. That's all we have for today. Uh, again, we just want to wrap up that if you are interested in getting early access to see our curriculum development, be able to provide us some feedback, uh, essentially be part of the beta team, the early access team, you can email us at earlyaccess at ggeinteractive.com and please utilize our forums at ggeinteractive.com or that same email address to send us any questions that you have and we'll use them in our future and videos. question here, so they want to specifically thank Mr. Williams. Yes. The Early job. Access Program is all about this. It's all about getting your feedback, answering your questions, and this is going to help us make a better product for the students. Thank you.